Hey Andrew, what's LTD? That is a question that I get all of the time. Well, I'm Andrew November, and I'm going to answer that question today. As an attorney at Liner Legal, uh, a law firm that focuses on disability litigation, we get that question all the time. What is LTD? What is STD? All the time. So I'm going to break it down today. Long-term disability, LTD. Short-term disability, STD. Those are both insurance policies that are provided by insurance companies. These are not provided by the Social Security. Let's separate it right there. So what happens is people will contract with a long-term disability or a short-term disability policy in order to provide loss of income protection. We typically see these policies coming from big employers. Although, many people can purchase them on their own. It's something that I've done, and it's a very wise thing to do because as we've talked about in a lot of our other videos or you've just seen in the news, the wait for disability insurance through Social Security is several years. On the other hand, these long-term disability policies and short-term disability policies are governed by contracts, and they're adjudicated much faster. Of course, there's hiccups in the process, but typically, they, they provide a decision much quicker. So basically, when you work as a benefit for your employment, you may be offered long-term disability and short-term disability. Now, short-term disability typically provides benefits for up to six months. So most people must finish receiving short-term disability before they can apply for long-term disability. Long-term disability it's, it's governed by the contract, so it's kind of hard to break it down in a video like this, but there's some things that we commonly see. Again, the bottom line here is, if you have questions, you're gonna have to read your policy. If it's a difficult policy to read, get a copy of it, email it to me, we'll set up a conversation and we can break it down. But there, like I said, there's, there's some things that I've noticed over the years that we see. Typically, long-term disability, as I mentioned, will kick in after the short-term disability policy is over. There's also an elimination period, a period of time that you must be disabled before you can collect those LTD benefits. Chances are you're going to satisfy that elimination period while you're collecting your short-term disability. But there might be a waiting period for short-term disability. Again, we really have to see your contract to know all the details, but those overarching principles will apply. Long-term disability is going to pay you benefits for the first two years, typically if you're unable to do your own occupation, so your actual job. That's what you have to show. You cannot do your own occupation. After two years, the vast majority of the policies transition into what they call the any occupation period. That means you are only meeting the definition of disability if you're unable to do any occupation and they're going to look at things like your skills and your education in order to determine whether you can do any occupation. That's where we see most of the problems. Unfortunately, that's where we have to litigate often because of absurd decisions that we've seen where they've found that people can do other jobs. Also, the contracts often state that you have to be able to make a certain amount of money. Well, if you're a high paid employee and you go on disability, it's probably not fair that they say you can do some job with a much lower rate. That doesn't make sense. And remember, these are insurance benefits. These are what you've been paying into and your employer has been paying into. So there are some serious protections out there. Again, we often call them creatures of contract, which means if you ask me a question about social security disability, I've been doing this for eight years. I've done over 3,000 hearings. I know what the law says. I could probably answer that question with my eyes closed can't do it with long-term disability or short-term disability. We need to see what's in the contract. Like I said in other videos, what's in the four corners of the paper governs. So you're gonna probably hear from me, I need to see your policy. It's not hard, you can contact your employer, your HR department, or even the insurance company to get your policy. Or maybe take a look at that policy you shoved in the closet after orientation when you started your job so many years ago. If you can't get it, let me know, I'll help you get it. But bottom line, what's in those four corners governs, but we'll find the answer for you. Don't hesitate to call us, email, Facebook message us with any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching today. Disability warriors 
Fighting for those who cannot fight for themselves.